Greetings, unsettled souls. Welcome to the correct views. I am your host, Samuel DeGangi. Sam I be, if you will. At least that's who I was when I used to be here. And we'll get to that in a minute. I promise you it's not going to take long because it's 27 degrees, so that will keep me prompt. Um, three things I want to get to. Bam, bam, bam. If you're a follower of the show, quite simply put, you're going to want to hear all three of them. Particularly number three. Okay. Valerie, my dear, you have won the contest. Get a hold of me at the correct views at hotmail.com and I will get your prize package to you. Valerie, congratulations. Thank you for being a great listener and a loyal listener. You'll see why that mattered in a minute. Um... Two, for those of you who followed Jaws of Victory, which later became Passing Time, which many of you probably do know. Maybe I'm just entertaining myself here, but um, Mr. John the Bulldog Calhoun booked us at this very club back when it was a club. And uh, I mean, members of Pantera used to come and party here and jam out when they came to town. Exodus and all kinds of bands. Well, I remember the first time we played here in the 90s, Bulldogs like, I don't think you guys are ready. We did all right. Um, played here a lot, though. We got better. Um, Bulldog Calhoun, the booking agent who believed in us first. Good friend. Loyal friend. Yeah, we fell out at the end. I'm not going to get into it. Doesn't erase all the years of friendship, though, and Bulldog Calhoun has lost his battle with COVID-19. Within an hour or so, I don't know, a couple hours ago from when this was recorded. It's the 24th of uh, January 2022. And last but not least, number three, what you want to hear the most. This club was called Sadie Renee's. And it was a very well-loved club. People loved this place. But little by little, times changed and it didn't get the kind of love that it should have got. Maybe it kept making the same mistakes over and over again. But you can see what it is now. <laughs> this lot hasn't been swept since the beginning of the snow three weeks ago. If this wasn't also a 911 dispatch center, it wouldn't even be plowed. My point being, if something doesn't get the attention it needs, it fades away. And I know a lot of you loved when Christelle was a member of this show, and let me tell you something, so did I. <laughs> you have no idea. Opera News picked up the show earlier this year and then dropped it when they found out that it was no longer the two of us, so... I've been trying to rebound since they shut my page down in 2018. And there just wasn't enough people there who were clamoring for me to stay. There were a couple, but it was amazing. There were 800 independent journalists that all disappeared. Well, 800 outlets. Probably, you know, six or 7,000 journalists. We all vanished. I don't think enough people went to bat for us. And then the page got shut down on... Uh, On the after January 6th, even though um, the authorities visited me and found that I was guilty of nothing, which was truth, I was guilty of nothing. And I'm now doing my videos for a couple hundred hits at best, and I can't keep doing that, friends, so it's kind of an adios. I look at it in two ways. Uh, there are casualties in all battles. That doesn't mean I'm a victim, and it doesn't mean I'm down for good. But there's no plans to start it back up again because sometimes, you know, sometimes not everybody wins the war. And I hope that, you know, if somebody wants me to speak or somebody wants me to do something or whatever, I'd be happy to do so. I have an absolutely amazing camera that I haven't done anything with whatsoever other than to turn it on and make sure that it works. I can't keep doing it, friends. Uh, they've shadow banned me for no reason. I'm a threat to no one. I give solid, sound, sourced advice, but hey, you know, they, they silenced it, and I can't keep doing it for nothing. 
And again, for those of you who loved the show with Christelle on it, you have no idea. <laughs> uh, yeah. Me too. Irreplaceable. So, um, I'm going to sign off. I'm freezing. Let me tell you what. It doesn't mean the show's never coming back. It doesn't mean I'm never going to do anything with it again. It just means that I'm done doing it for absolutely nothing, guys. Because much like this building, it doesn't matter how vibrant something is, how alive and how love it is, if it doesn't get the attention that it needs, if it doesn't find a way to make it through the tough times, and it ends up, proverbially speaking, and in this case, literally, alone in the snow. Good night, friends. God bless.